Heritage, a division of the Oregon Parks and Recreation Department, holds a competitive nomination process to recognize individuals, businesses, and organizations for outstanding efforts to raise the quality of heritage activities in Oregon. Now in its 14th year, the Oregon Heritage Excellence Award honored 10 winners who have made the most out of their available resources, gone above and beyond the call of duty, and whose work stands as a model for others. 2020 has been one for the record books. Instead of gathering to honor these awardees at the Heritage Conference this spring, Oregonians, along with those from around the world, were sheltering in place. As we continue to find ways to stay connected at a safe distance, on behalf of the Oregon Heritage Department, I hope you will join us in celebrating the accomplishment of these award winners. Eileen Fitzsimons has had a long pursuit of preserving, protecting, and honoring the state's culture and heritage. For more than 40 years, she has been an accomplished expert in the areas of Oregon architectural history, Oregon settler trails, public gardens, and historic quilts. Fitzsimons' earlier work focused on assisting the Portland Historic Landmarks Commission with their historic buildings inventory and researching and writing several nominations for the National Register of Historic Places. She also became interested in and a subsequent expert on Portland architect Warren H. Williams, photo of Calvary Presbyterian Church designed by Warren Williams. She has also done significant research on Portland's Westminster Presbyterian Church and South Park Blocks. Fitzsimons was very involved in the sesquicentennial of the Oregon Trail where she had a role as an advisor in directing marketing activities, events, programming, and interpretation along the Oregon Trail. She also was a critical contributor to the Oregon Quilt Project, a statewide effort to record the documentation of quilts found in Oregon and submit the data to Michigan State University's Quilt Index, an inventory of 90,000 quilts for research and study. She volunteered as the co-chair at the time of reorganization and led the project to successful conclusion after eight years. A colleague who worked with her on the Oregon Trail Coordinating Council had this to say about Fitzsimons. Eileen approaches history and historic organizations with her whole being and the optimism that defines her personality. She generously shares her vision and time with others. She builds partnerships and nurtures those who are exploring Oregon's history. Eileen's fingerprints reach from the coast to the Blue Mountains, from established historic resources to opportunities to surface a lost story. Congratulations to Eileen Fitzsimons on receiving a Heritage Excellence Award for dedicated statewide work on heritage projects preserving Oregon's history, including devotion to historic trails, the Oregon Quilt Project, and local history. Hello, from the Selwood neighborhood of Southeast Portland, our home state of Oregon. I'm Eileen Fitzsimons. I was surprised and honored to receive this award, which I am accepting while thinking of the many others, teachers, employers, librarians and archivists, fellow historians, and many volunteers who have been part of my journey for 40 years as a public historian. My work is varied, ranging from National Register nominations, conducting walking tours, slideshows and PowerPoint presentations, working in small museums, writing articles for my community newspaper, and serving on boards and committees. Topics that include large scope, well-known events such as the Oregon Trail and the explorations of Lewis and Clark, to most recently, seven years of documenting the stories of quilt makers in every corner of the state, Primeville and Lakeview, Burns, Ontario, Haines, Klamath Falls, and Enterprise, to name a few of the towns our teams visited. If I'm allowed to offer advice to younger historians 
it would be stay curious, document your sources, retain your notes and share them. You cannot predict who might find your research materials helpful even decades later. Watch for unexpected connections. Listen more than you speak. Someone once said we have two ears and one mouth, so use them in proportion. Finally, share your findings and stories with others. This is how we add to the tapestry never finished that is the history and culture of this beautiful place we call home. Thank you.